This is me going to work at 8.15 a.m. at 20 below. I have two coats on, this Arctic hat, my hood from the inside coat. I'm going to have two pairs of gloves. I have like pretty thick hiking shoes, boots, shoe boots, pretty big treads on them. And I think that's it. So it'll be about a 20 minute walk. Here I go. So day two and I had to make a couple changes. I had to add the scarf. Yeah. Because when the wind chill is 40 below, which it was yesterday morning, your face is going to freeze off. Danger of frostbite. Not a good thing. So I had to keep my hand, my glove, over my face the whole time, which wasn't easy when I was carrying two bags. So we're going to fix that today. I also put one of those hand warmers in my shoes to kind of test it out because by the time I got there, my toes were frozen even though I have these really heavy boots on. They're kind of shoe boots. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. So today is going to be minus, right now it's minus 25. The wind chill is minus 45. It's going to warm up though. Once the sun comes out per four hours, it's going to warm up to minus 23. So, we're getting a heat wave though, on the weekend. It's like minus 11. Woohoo! So, here I go. Hey everybody, so today is Saturday, end of January, and I initially at least had plans to go to camp. Camp. I don't exactly know what that looks like. I've been to fish camp, but this is different. Um, I think it's the same kind of setup where you are, you have um, these tents, not tent, well maybe they are, um, you know, these uh, structures that are tent-like on the coast and people spend time up there for one reason or another. So I've just completed my first week in Kotzebue and I was invited to go up to camp uh, today on snowmobiles with uh, a few people <clears throat> and it looks like it's not going to happen um, because it's just too cold. The wind chill is minus 40 and then when you're going um, you know 50, 60 miles an hour on a snowmobile that's some pretty serious stuff. So we're probably just going to go for a short ride just so I can kind of get an idea of um, what it's like. I do did have my gear already. Um, I have my hand warmers which probably won't do a whole lot. <laughs> But um, I have um, some windproof gloves that I'm borrowing and I'm probably going to wear something, a liner or something uh, in, in there. And then I have this. I've never worn it yet, but this is, this is a face mask. Um, it's pretty uh, high tech and it covers you know, everything except for this. And then you have your, it's not in my room, you have your goggles uh, for the wind. You have to have that or else you're going to freeze your, your, your skin and your eyeballs, I'm sure especially if you're driving. Um, so I have a f definitely a few layers on. I've got Arctic boots that are just ridiculous. Uh, and my feet are going to be fine. Um, snow pants, and I have actually going to be borrowing a coat because the coat I have is not good enough for that. I need a really big, down, heavy coat. So um, I'm going to go for a short ride today just to get my feet wet, and maybe we'll go tomorrow because um, today the temperature is about minus 20 without the wind chill. Tomorrow it's going to be like minus 2. So that's a 20 degree difference. It makes a big difference on a snowmobile. So maybe we'll go tomorrow. I don't know. But um, definitely getting some experience in this very, very cold weather out here. Uh, it's colder in Shungnak where I was before, believe it or not, by at least 10 degrees every day. Uh, so kind of glad I got out of there. <laughs> For January and February at least. Um, so this has uh, been a great experience. My first week in Kotzebue has been um, 
uh, has been slow. I want to say um, work has been slow for one reason or another. Um, but I've, I've been there and I've been able to use the gym um, almost every day. I think I, I think I use it every day except for Thursday. And that's my plan is to uh, train there four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday would be either a day off or a, a cardio day, maybe a, a HIIT training day, depending on how I feel. And then the weekends are going to be uh, just resting and relaxing. And actually, I'm thinking about doing um, every weekend doing a water fast or a, a tea only fast uh, for two days at three if once in a while if I have um, a three day weekend uh, and depending on what I'm doing of course so um, I'm feeling really good about that um, and uh, I guess that's all I have to really report uh, the house I'm in has been great I, um, I might be moving somewhere else I just don't know yet but I'm um, very happy where I'm at. I have full access to the whole downstairs, the full kitchen, and um, my room is, is great. So I am um, just, you know, I've got everything I need, and I'm just, I'm just happy. So walking to work, I'm getting used to that. It's about a 15-minute walk, and I've um, been experimenting with what I need. I think I've got it down pat. So uh, especially when it gets, you know, <laughs> especially when it gets... <laughs> I was going to say to like minus one or minus two. That sounds crazy because before that would have just killed me and now it feels warm and you just know how that is. You just acclimate to whatever you need to acclimate to. Um, zero degrees doesn't feel like anything to me. Of course, you know, you, you have your gear and you have uh, yourself covered. It's not like you're going out in shorts or anything. I'm not that acclimated. But, um, you know... Over the, the last few months, just getting used to the temperatures, of course, has probably been the reason why I've been able to do it. I got here and it was, you know, in the 60s, 50s, 60s. So it's been a, a slow process getting acclimated. So um, my ride should be here uh, soon. Um, I'm just waiting, waiting for him to show up. Um, and... I'll, maybe I'll get some footage. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to, to do some recording. The problem is that when you're outside for more than, it depends how cold it is, sometimes a minute, sometimes 10 minutes, your phone shuts off because it's just too cold. So I'm not able to get a lot of footage outside right now, but I will, I'll try.